Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Murky Meg here. Well, hello, hello, hello. It is Sunday the 14th of April, and yet again, Meghan Markle could not contain herself in front of the cameras while being presented or presenting, I can't quite decide which one, the trophy at the Centerville Polo Match. Now, this was a polo match at the Royal Salute Polo Challenge. It was a really, really cringe-worthy moment, and we've seen many cringe-worthy moments over the years with regards to Meghan Markle. This one, in the top right-hand corner, is my personal favourite. So, they were at the polo. Of course, Netflix was in tow as well. They were being filmed to high heaven from Netflix, capturing every single glitzy moment, you know, lifting the lid and glamour of polo. News are reporting that <laughs> she ordered people around the stage after handing Harry a trophy at the glitzy charity polo match in Miami. She requested the well-dressed woman in white to move to the middle of the group, away from Harry, insisting she be in the middle of the huddle next to her husband, the royal fan beside her. First of all, <laughs> do your homework, media. This is no royal fan. But first and foremost, before I get into the details, here is the video, and then we'll go through it, shall we? So let's have a look. <laughs> So let's have a quick look at that again, shall we, with my commentary. She steps up to the podium, carrying the trophy to Harry, goes, oh, me, me, oh, oh, is that for me? Oh, mm, mm, kisses, rubs his back like a good boy. And then she kind of goes, yes, well done, well done. And, and why is she there with the trophy? Okay, she's standing there, it's all smiles, 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 click, 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 click. Look, aren't we raising loads of money for a good charity? Oh, yes. Chatter, chatter, chatter. <laughs> it's so funny. Ah, oh, we funny. So it's all smiles, 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 and then in walks this lady. She, I'll explain who she is at the moment. Megan makes room for her and another lady, and awkward, awkward, the lady there is holding, try, oh, no, move, 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 and she gets told to move. Obviously, the woman then moves from Harry's side next to Megan, and then there are three women in order wearing white, and then the polo players on either side of them. Now, it may be for aesthetics, and the placement of the photo that was done, but it isn't her place to actually demand who stands where. What the media have now picked up on, be it right or be it wrong, is the fact that she didn't want the woman standing next to Harry. And that seems to be what most of the papers and the media are running with, and the optics don't look good. Now, the lady in question that was asked to move so abruptly I believe was Dr. Sophie Chanjuka, MBE, and she is the chair of Centre Bali. She's a highly intelligent and successful woman. While I am glad that this is getting called out in the media, I wish that they would push a little bit more too, because quite frankly, this was rude. It wasn't awkward, it was rude. Now, like I've said, some people will probably say, well, she did this for the optics. That's fair enough, but what she did was actually rude. Because this lady is the chairperson of Centre Bali, and Megan has no connection to this charity. She was there as Harry's wife in no capacity whatsoever. She has no authority to tell anybody to move, let alone the chairperson for the Centre Bali charity. Now, a lot of people are saying that it was rude and it was awkward, and even people are going to say that it was actually quite a racist thing for her to do. Mm, I'm not quite convinced on that one. But what it does look like is that she doesn't want a black woman standing next to her husband. And that is where the optics have gone boom. You look anywhere on social media, on TikTok, on X, on Instagram, it's all over there. The fact that she told a woman of colour to stand away from her husband. And it's always about the optics. This hit the media last night, 
And then lo and behold, this morning we have a picture of her with Delphinia Balequa, who I believe is Nacho's wife. Yeah, that's right. Nacho Figueleras, who is obviously part of Harry's polo team. Here we have her arm in arm being comforted by Delphinia. And everybody's saying, does she look like she's crying? And it actually does look like she's crying. But then moments later, she's smiling. What really ticks me off, though, is that she has been photographed with Nacho's and Delphinia's children, hand in hand. She's holding their hand, she's got arm around them. Yet they didn't think to actually bring their own children that we never see to this polo event. And that, again, optics look bad in my personal opinion. I know Harry wants to shield the children that we never see from public view. I'll ask you this question. What happens when those so-called children grow up and think, why were we never at these events? And I know a lot of people believe that those children don't exist and everybody has their right to their opinion. My opinion is that I'm just not going to go there at the moment because it opens up a whole can of worms and I don't particularly want my YouTube channel to be taken down. But those that know me, know me. Now this was a very glitzy polo charity match. It wasn't a championship or anything like that. It was very near the Polo Championships. In fact, extremely near the US Open Polo Championships, both geographically and the date as well. This particularly charity, particularly? <laughs> oh God, it's one of those days, I'm so sorry. This particular charity event was done on Friday, so that would have been on the 12th. It's also held in Wellington, Florida. What's also held in Wellington, Florida? Well, that's the US Open Polo Championships. Did they set up <laughs> this charity polo event to make it look like they were part of the US Open Polo? It's really weird to me. And what's weird, er, I should say, is that <laughs> it seems that they kind of organised this charity polo event to be followed by a film crew, because mark my words, film crew were everywhere. So they are being filmed to high heaven, obviously, for Harry's new polo show. I, it doesn't inspire me. I know a lot of horsey people will like it, and I get that. I really, really get that. But I personally, I'm scared of horses. One stepped on my foot when I was about three years old, and I love horses, but I can't go near horses. I wish I could. I would love to ride a horse, but I'm physically terrified of horses. I can't even feed one a bit of cucumber or apple or whatever they like. Carrot. I can't do it. I physically can't do it. So maybe that's me just being a bit biased. I don't know. They're beautiful and they're majestic and they're just stunning. I just, I'm so terrified of horses. But I do wonder that this particular polo charity match, because it's not an event, it's not a championship. It was just purely a match. Was it set up in the same place so that they could appear that they were part of the championships? Or was it just because that's where they play polo? I'm going to reference this tweet by Lulu LA. Fantastic account on X. Now, they say that Prince Harry described his former royal life as a cross between the Truman Show and living in a zoo. Or being filmed at a charity event with so much camera crew. Just look at the camera crew. They're all over the place. Wouldn't you say that was a bit like a zoo or the Truman Show? Have you progressed in any way, Harry? All that therapy helped? Or can you now cope with the click of the camera and the flash of the bulbs? Sorry, my mistake. You're actually getting paid for this. So that, that, that makes the whole difference, doesn't it? That's, that's the difference. But I'm going to revert back to my previous sentiment. What was Meghan Markle doing on that stage. She had no business being there besides being Harry's wife. I'd like to ask, was Nacho's wife on the stage? I've looked at the photo, which is on Getty Images, of various people, all of the sides, on the polo, each polo team, and a couple of people at the front. I can't post it here because it's on Getty Images, because they don't allow it on YouTube, but I can confirm, no, no, she wasn't. No, not at all. So I'm going to ask, what was Meghan Markle A doing on stage to present a trophy to her husband with regards to a Centre Bali Grand Champions Polo Club charity match? What was she doing there? Why was she on stage? Why was she smack bang in the middle next to Prince Harry and 
the chairperson of Centre Bali. Why was she presented the trophy? Why was she on stage? And why on earth does she think that she has the audacity to ask somebody three times to rudely move? Now, I get the need for the chair of Centre Bali to be centre in the middle of the photo, but is it really Megan's place to do that? And also, optics of this look really, really bad. Because ultimately what she's doing is she's telling the chair of Centre Bali to move. And quite frankly, the chair can stand wherever she wants, to be perfectly honest. But what it boils down to is the optics. The optics of how it looks and also the optics of the film crew that were there. It's not what's best for the polo match or for the charity. That event was purely about the filming. Making sure that the film crew saw everything and making sure that Harry and especially Megan, were centre stage. So, I'll ask you, what do you think went down? Do you think it was just all for the cameras and the film crew? Do you think that Megan had every right to be up on that podium? Or, actually, it wasn't a podium. It was like half a lorry with wheels on it. <laughs> it was really weird. It wasn't an actual stage at all. It was bizarre. Do you think that she had every right to present her husband with the trophy, even though she's never played a day's polo in her life? Or do you think she was just there because of the optics? And what about the move moment? Can you stand there? Can you stand there? Go there. Three times it was. She had to tell the woman three times. It's not just any old woman. It's the chair of Centre Bali. So do you think she had any right to tell the chair of Centre Bali to move? Or do you just think, actually, it was about a photo op and it should be all about the chairperson in the middle of the photo next to Harry? Do you think there was a bit more of an underl underlying kind of <clears throat> don't stand near my husband moment? As always, I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.